Today, we're filing a consumer protection lawsuit, a civil lawsuit against Dan Snyder, the Washington Commanders, the National Football League, and the NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Yeah, you heard some of it there. Four hours ago, D.C. Attorney General Carl Racine made the uh, claim that the commanders, Dan Snyder, and the NFL lied about what they knew regarding that team's workplace culture. Our team is all over this big story tonight. Our sports director, Darren Haynes, just finished speaking with former employees and coaches. But we want to begin with you, Eric Fleck, our chief investigative reporter. Yeah, so Fleck, you were there for the attorney general's yep. announcement. There was a lot to go through. Let's walk us through this. Yeah, Darren and I are sitting right next to each other as we just heard all these stunning developments. This, by the way, is that 45-page lawsuit. It accuses Dan Snyder, the National Football League, and NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell of allegedly working together together to lie to D.C. residents about Beth Wilkinson's investigation into the team's toxic workplace culture and allegations of sexual assault. Racine claims Snyder and the team attempted to prevent witnesses from talking to Wil Wilkinson through payoffs and intimidation and engaged in aggressive, abusive litigation to dig up information on the victims and that the NFL was fully aware of the, quote, intimidation campaign. Creating a misogynist and toxic workplace, um, I don't believe to date there has been public accountability uh, in a court of law where the allegations concern very serious violations of wrongdoing. We will issue subpoenas. We will seek testimony under oath, deposition. I promise you, let me just give you a hunch. The depositions not likely to occur on a yacht, but in a conference room in the District of Columbia. Racine certainly enjoyed that moment. Racine's lawsuit is civil, not criminal, seeking potential fines and a more detailed report on what Beth, Beth Wilkinson found in her investigation. Now, less than two hours ago, the NFL responded, calling Beth Wilkinson's investigation into the commanders thorough and comprehensive and said it imposed a record-setting fine against Snyder and the team, the NFL, adding, we reject the legally unsound and factually baseless allegations made today by the D.C. Attorney General against the NFL and commanders. Commissioner Goodell, and we will vigorously defend against those claims. Meanwhile, the commanders issued their own separate statement saying Dan and Tanya Snyder acknowledged an unacceptable workplace culture and apologized many times. And then this, quote, we agree with the AG we're seeing on one thing, the public needs to know the truth. Although the lawsuit repeats a lot of innuendo, half-truths half and lies, we welcome this opportunity to defend the organization for the first time in a court of law and to establish once and for all what is fact and what, it, what is fiction. In other words, guys, the commanders say, we'll see you in court. We'll yeah. see if it gets that far. Yeah, it seems like a lot of this we've heard before in the AG in this sense. All it, of it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's in, in a sense, just bringing it back to the surface. There is a couple of stuff in the background calls where they gave specific uh, detailed accounts. And you can go to our website, WUSA9.com right now, and we get more into details on a lot of those things. Yeah. But in general... This was their uh, basically confirming what others had reported. So nothing really new came out of I mean, this. Darren, did you hear anything new? No. Uh, it's, it's the only thing new is that they, you know, the civil charges. That's that's new. But in regards to what they were saying, what they found, the details. no. But but I think it kind of, you know, they always wanted the the records to be, you know, presented so we can know what's going on. I think this finally kind of checked off the the mark. Okay, it does exist, and now they're moving forward with it. I think we've all been waiting for that.